Hey, this is Kev with Blender Binge. In this video, we're gonna draw curves on surfaces in Blender 2.81, and it's really easy to do, and I'm gonna show you how to do it, so let's go. First thing you wanna do, I, I have this uh, grid and a torus, and it's just here for demonstration purposes. I'm gonna go to Add, Curve, Bezier, throw that down, there it is. I'm gonna hit Tab, and I'm gonna hit Delete, and say Vertices, boom, gone. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to this Draw icon, and then I'm going to go over here to this little arrow, or I could hit N on the keyboard. And what I want to do is just want to choose surface. And now if I choose surface and I start drawing, there we go. We now have a curve, and it's going over the stuff underneath it. And then what you can do to see it better is you can turn on, go to Object Data Properties over here, and just go to Geometry and turn up Depth just a little bit. There you go. And now you got a wire kind of like flowing over the surface here. So you can also take this tolerance and play with the tolerance and you can get a, a smoother or a looser curve. So like if you go like really, really high up, it's going to kind of not really do what you think it's going to do. If you go really far down, it's going to really kind of hug these surfaces. So you kind of want to find a middle ground, something that you're happy with, but you know, play around and experiment. Cool. Your curves will go over other curves. They'll kind of jump it. And then if you know you take it down a little bit, there they'll still see you're you're still jumping the other curves. So that's kind of cool, right? And one last thing you can do here is you can also say like uh, if you take only first over here, and then you choose like normal view, you can you can draw up from these different uh, surfaces. And then also you can take this uh, taper radius, start and end. If you turn that to one and one you'll see that you're getting, you know, nothing at the start, fat in the middle, and then nothing at the end. Or you could do like weird blades of grass and I don't know, you can make Whoville and there you go, there's some Dr. Seussy looking stuff and uh, play around and make a uh, Seuss forest and the Grinch and stuff, whatever. So you could see that you can have a lot of fun with that. And if you go crazy with this and you started making cables and things, you could do a sci-fi scene similar to this. And being that these are curves, you can always just go back in, you can select any one of these things and you can move them around and they still move like curves. So you could still play around and, and, you know, fix any kind of errors that you see or whatever you want. And then you can kind of, you know, draw a bunch of cables like this and do a scene like this and, you know, have a nice kind of little sci-fi cable thing going. So anyway, hope you got something out of this video. If you did, hit like, subscribe, share it, whatever, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.